Hey guys, it's Eric. Thought I'd do a quick little room tour here in uh, my hotel room in Suzhou. So why don't you stick around after the intro and we'll check it out together. Probably throw a whole little hotel tour in here too, I guess. Not just the room. <laughs> All right, roll that intro. guys so as you can see um, I rented the apartment there's two different types of hotel room types here at the Hilton Moon Suzhou there is just your standard hotel room and then there's the apartments and um, it's kind of separated two lobbies separate elevator banks I'll show you that in a second but um, the reason I stay in the apartments is because of the amenities you get with staying in the apartments so um, as you see behind me here I have a refrigerator, which don't have much in right now. It's kind of last day, so it's got a full fridge. And it's got a full freezer with three different drawers down here. You got your uh, ice tray. And another nice thing, too, is you have a fully functioning, this is a washer-dryer combo, so, um, you know, washes and dries at the same time. It's a little bit uh, interesting to figure out, but uh, not too challenging. Nice hotel or uh, table here. Got uh, some chairs, and uh, all the walls have this kind of um, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like a uh, like a fabricy type of uh, material, which is nice because it kind of keeps down the um, <laughs> the um, noise in between the rooms. I think so. Here's the door. Here's a cool feature that I think everyone should have. Okay, as you can see, it's got this do not disturb uh, button here. If you push it, it goes off. Push it, it goes on. Got your standard, um, you know, got to put the key in the uh, slot to light it. And we have three different temperature zones in here. So you can set them to whatever you want to. This one said it currently 21, I guess. But the do not disturb is cool because if you look out here, You can see that's lit up red. So they know, you know, you're in the room and you don't uh, want disturbed. So this is kind of a long look at the room. Kind of got these nice marble floors in the, like the kitchen area. It comes with a little coffee bar. Been partaking in this, of course. Every morning, coffee cups. It's got like a induction stove so it's um it doesn't heat up until you put something metal on it and then you know you have a few like knives forks extra cup to glass to drink with a sink and it even has a garbage disposal inside the sink <laughs> which is kind of a cool feature you don't really get that in normal hotel rooms so here's another long look at the kitchen we paint over here. Now is where I spend most of my time in here in the living room. It's got this nice um, carpet down. And then it's got this lovely sectional style couch. Uh, as you can see, I've been carved in my crease right here. <laughs> but uh, the couch is nice because it um, overlooks the TV that's right here. And I got um, my computer plugged into the TV, so I watch um, YouTube when I can, when the internet cooperates here in China. It's a little bit sketchy at times. <laughs> you know, like uh, VPNs don't work, Google doesn't work sometimes, so you, you kind of have to be patient with it. But, you know, eventually um, I'm using NordVPN. That seems to be working pretty good. So, But uh, it's a nice little setup. I got my uh, wireless mouse over here <laughs> so I can drive from the couch. Got some nice pictures up in the wall behind it. Then if we come over here, we have this awesome window and I'll open up the uh, blind so you can see. Um, I have a view across of, uh, there's like another, I guess it's apartment style building across the way. Pretty tall. I'm on the 22nd floor and that building's a little bit taller than me. And if you look just this way, you can kind of see there's like a park right right here and with a little lake and some more houses and stuff behind it. 
If we pan down, you can see I have like a canal view right there. I like these little things right here. They kind of um, block the direct sunlight. So it and kind of gives you a little bit more privacy, you know, with the building across the way right there. You can kind of have your blinds open and not feel like everyone can see directly in, but um, it's kind of nice. And then as you can see, kind of see down here, there's like a really big green space, another park. Um, kind of look down, you see how high we are, 26th floor. That um, place across the way has a nice little uh, rooftop terrace. You can see he's got like a solar panels right here and like a little putting green right there. It's kind of cool, a little patio style. And if we pay in this way, we can see kind of the similar view that I had last year. I'm not looking towards the lake this time. I'm, I'm more looking towards um, the industrial park really. But like there's another building down there. It's a pretty, pretty nice views um, up here. I can, if I look this way, you can kind of see back to um, this building that's like right here is like a community center type of thing. It's a, uh, like got a pool in it. There's um, kids activities and such in there. It's kind of cool. It's really packed on the weekend. So, um, you know, we don't have any kids here with us, but you know, if you did. That's a cool place to take them. If you look farther back there, uh, there's just, uh, well, I probably can't see it on camera, but there's like a interstate back there and uh, occasionally you can see the bullet train go past. It's kind of cool. Um, there's a, there's a bullet train station here in Suzhou. So it takes you to Shanghai, Beijing. One of these days we'll have to try that out, but uh, kind of a cool, um, cool view. So if we pay in back this way, we'll head back to this direction. And so this is a one bedroom um, apartment. So I have kitchen, living room, and one bedroom. It's got a king size bed, really super comfy. Let me tell you, that thing is nice. It's got a nice little uh, like lamps on either side and ways to control the uh, lighting, it's got a nice picture. And as you see, all the common walls are this like a, this material, it's kind of like a fabric-y material. It's kind of like a fabric, kind of keeps down the uh, the noise, it's so good. And then you can kind of see down here, we have the controls for the lights, a plug, um, another light. And then we pan over this way. There's a, it's a pretty sweet little couch. <laughs> I've never really sat on it much, but you know, it looks pretty comfortable. I bet, uh, you know, just lounging on that would be fun. Uh, again, same view as the, out the, the living room, kind of looking towards the Bank of China building and the, uh, the recreation center. And of course, you know, this way you have the, the park and the pond and such again too. Kind of see the uh, a little bit better view of like the little uh, area I have right here beside the hotel. And then, the, of course, the canal, which they're all over Suzhou. It's really nice right down there. Got a nice little desk area here. Really a lot of uh, useful plugs on it. It's got a couple USBs. You can use standard US plugs here, but um, not all plugs are like that. You see, it's kind of like um, uh, T-shaped, but uh, they use Australian power plugs here. So, so you see the USB and the plugs right there. And then, of course, you can order room service. It's just highly recommended here. It's, uh, it's uh, honestly been pretty nice um, to have another TV in this room. I really don't use this TV much. I probably could watch TV in bed, but it's the same one that's out in the um, living room. So continuing our tour, this bathroom is, it's <laughs> its amazing. We have this uh, big door and then in here, we have a large expansive closet. So I mean, tons of space. You can like, there's drawers down in the bottom here like right here, these are drawers. And then if you look up here, there's more cabinets and stuff up here. So poor storage, they give you an ironing board and they even it even comes with your own umbrella to use while you're here. So that's pretty nice if you forget a jacket or something. 
So it comes with the ironing board, the iron, you know, your standard hotel uh, bags for laundry and such. So there's a safe over here, a little spot for your luggage, which is nice. Everyone digging that sweet Mickey luggage. <laughs> and then coming in here is the bathroom. And this is, this is the, you know, piece de resistance, if you will. <laughs> There's this sweet, sweet tub in here. It's like a soaking tub. You have a really nice double vanity. So if you're traveling with your significant other, you know, you both have your sink space. A nice mirror. And the mirror here is actually heated. So you can feel if you like get your hand close to it, you can feel, you can feel, hey guys, you can feel the warmth of your uh, mirror, it keeps it like not fogging up. And then on this side of the room, they have enclo uh, large enclosures for the shower and the toilet. So we'll look at that. Nice little uh, throne room, pretty nice. Uh, your standard toilet and stuff, no surprises. Got your standard hotel phone that baffles me every time I see why you have a phone in the potty, but anyway. <laughs> Um, it's a really nice space, um, and then the shower is right next door. It's got it's just separated by the little divider there, and um, it's all frosty glass, so it's still you know private. You can't see through. You can kind of see my hand, but you can't make out you know shapes or whatever. So the shower is, I will say, is a little bit slick at times because it's still this um, marble, but it's got like these grooves and channels in here. I don't know if you can see that grid pattern, but uh, it's for like the water drainage. So you see there's one drain there and one drain there, and it just kind of runs around there and it keeps it a little bit less slick. It doesn't like the water doesn't pool up on that. But uh, anyway, there's this nice um, amenities like a shampoo and soap uh, dish over here. It's glass. And then you have like a, like a handheld shower head. So like a shower wand, I guess. And then the controls right here. So the top one, if you turn it to the left, it controls this shower head. And if you turn it to the right, there's a rain shower shower head, which is super nice, I gotta tell you. And then uh, the, the knob on the bottom there is temperature. So it says like cold or warm. I think it gives like degrees in Celsius, so. Anyway, that's a view inside the uh, apartments here at the Hilton in Suzhou. Um, let's uh, go take a little walk around outside and see, you know, a little bit of the uh, hotel, like the lobby and a few other things. You see, I mean, 2212. There's my uh, do not disturb. You look this way. There's a uh, window looking out over the city. Pretty bright, so we'll go back this way towards the elevator. They have the felty material on the walls here, too. Follow the exit signs. They have these, like, lights over the elevators that tell you which one you're going to. We'll go down to one. If you look at what's on the other floors. They have these, like, cool little displays in the, in the uh, elevators. Kind of give you hotel information. All right, as I said before, there's two lobbies. This is the apartment's lobby. There's usually no one at the front desk. It's still pretty cool. You got this uh, grand kind of wave thing up at the ceiling. It's really cool looking. They have uh, information boards and stuff about restaurants. They have kind of a cool wave thing still going on here. Little sitting area right here. We're gonna go out the uh, front door and we'll uh, show you what that looks like. So you gotta go to hotel lobby. There's a ATM here. So if you need some cash, Chinese yawn, get it right there. Kind of a food pantry right here. Mostly just wine and beverages it looks like. And I think there's like tea sets. Okay, so now you see it's kind of got a little fancier more hotel-like looking. We have this uh, little bar lounge thing right here. Kind of cool. Looks like it's kind of busy right now. Something going on in the hotel looks like. These are the main hotel elevators. So if you're going to say the lounge or something like that, you take these elevators up. They have this neat little display thing. It's always like kind of here, but they've kind of changing it. 
Kind of got a little fog machine, it's neat. And then here is the main hotel lobby. As you can see, way more hotel lobby looking like. Got this fancy chandelier up here. Real nice. They always seem to be changing out this middle uh, display section too. It's been different every time I've been here. They kind of added this grab and go thing over here too. Get you little dumplings or fruit tarts or anything you want. Okay, let's uh, go check out outside. A little bit breezy today, so forgive the extra wind noise if you hear any. So this hotel is pretty cool. It's, um, it's, it's kind of an uh, interesting shape. Trying to get back far enough so we can see. Right straight ahead of us is the subway, which is pretty nice. Uh, very convenient. Line one runs through the center of town. So but anyway, looking back at the hotel, you can see this is the main lobby. And then down, down here is the apartment lobby. But looking up, look at this. See how high that goes? It's kind of like a U-shaped. So before I always stayed in rooms on this side, but like right now I'm on a room on this side on the 26th floor. They uh, generally have like, you know, buses and cars down here in the, in the daytime. It's kind of packed usually, um, like when we're leaving for work or whatever, everyone's getting picked up at the same time. So there's a restaurant or uh, restaurants in this building over here. There's like a shopping, like Apple store type of place and Starbucks, of course, because everywhere has to have uh, their Starbucks, right? So right here is the subway stop. Really uh, quite a convenient thing, let me tell you. And it's not really that expensive. I mean, you know, probably less than a dollar to ride it all the way to the center of town or maybe $2 to ride all the way, you know, to the other side of town. But there's a longer shot of the hotel, as you can see the... Uh, kind of U-shape, uh, uniqueness of the hotel. It's really neat looking. It's a really great place to stay. This Hilton Sujo is is by far my favorite hotel inside of Sujo that I've stayed at. I stayed at the Renaissance before, it's downtown, and it's not quite this nice. This building over here is like a TV station building. Kind of like the sister building to the one that we're in right now, so. It's, it's uh, pretty neat. You can kind of see <laughs> as I come around here that uh, the other part of the uh, uh, the U-shaped is on this side. So this is the other side of the building. So when you kind of see it from afar, it looks like a giant U. <laughs> it's really cool. They have these um, sweeping things in the middle, kind of like a, I don't know, keep the rain and stuff off the middle, shade it a little bit. They got little fountains. Kind of nice little serene thing in the middle of a big city. And again, you wouldn't even know, but this is the other building. So it's like a TV studio. There's like a, a gym and stuff over here. And like a restaurants all downstairs. But as you can see, just a short walk from the hotel, right behind the hotel actually, is a canal. But uh, yeah, so this is really the uh, the beauty of Suzhou right here is just these canals are everywhere. It's, I believe, called the Venice of the East, and I, I would totally agree. There's so many canals everywhere. I think there's like so many bridges and stuff in the city, but. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna end it right there. I hope you like this uh, hotel tour and room tour of the Hilton Suzhou. Give me, please uh, drop a like on this video if you liked it. Click that subscribe button if you wanna see more of this content and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace and love.